Hey guys, it's King Butterbones here, and we are back with another Killer Clowns from Outer Space, the game. So today, I'm redoing the tier list for the Killer Clown weapons. So I already did this, I believe, uh, I think it's a week ago, but currently right now, it is June 17th. So they did a lot of nerfing and debuff some of the weapons, so I'll be showing you guys the best Killer Clown weapons that you guys can use currently right now, and what is the meta. So if you guys want to see more Killer Clowns from Outer Space, videos like this you guys know what to do hit that subscribe button like button notification bell and without further ado let's begin all right so right off the bat is the cotton candy ray gun so obviously i'm gonna start this tier list to the least to, or to the worst to the best so the cotton candy ray gun is a free obtainable weapon that you can start off right away with the killer clowns now honestly i had this on c tier and I changed mad my opinion on this ray gun so quickly. So what I will pick for this, right? I will put this automatically at S tier. Now, the reason why to it, if you get Rudy or Shorty, and if you use LOL, even if you don't use LOL, right? But if you do use the LOL, you can get Con Candy Cocoon so fast. It's just like you can't even you can't escape from it. I guess the only way you can escape from it is either you bolt or you try to kill the clown so it's a very op weapon right off the bat all right so next is the penta shot now the penta shot it requires level 12 to obtain and honestly i had this ranking at d tier if i remember and honestly it's good i'll, I'll give it towards that it's good it's okay but uh, you know it really depends which character you're using as well and it's all about the aim so Honestly, I know people are probably going to hate this, but this is one of the least weapons that I use in my opinion. It's it's okay, but it takes like multiple shots. The only way it's effective if you're kind of close to them. So, argue or disargue, I'm putting that at C tier. It's, it's an okay weapon, you know, it's not the best, probably uh, not the worst, but uh, I'll just leave it towards that. So the next one is the Giga Ray. So this is only obtainable at level 28 and honestly is one of my favorite weapons now to use. I had this ranking at C tier if I remember but now honestly I'll put, that, put this on A tier because how strong it is. Because if you use any fast character once again or even like for instance Chubby right. If you wind it up right away and if you just shoot it straight up it can actually can't candy cocoon right away but not only that let's just say it's a group of people and one of you has the giga ray you can con candy them so fast and and you know it really depends how the scenario is if it's a 3v1 or it's a 1v1 uh you're most likely gonna win with this giga ray because it just it's so good and especially if you knock them out you can use the giga ray right away all right, the next one is the laser beam. Now, this is only obtainable at level 37, and I had it at F tier. And honestly, yeah, uh, it's staying at F tier. So I did reuse it. I did use the laser beam again. And yeah, that's that's when I called it off. I'm like, no. And honestly, it's kind of sad, to be honest. Now, I would put it back at maybe D tier, but no uh it's kind of sad because it's a really cool weapon it's honestly one of the coolest weapons especially because of the puppy skin right here but sad to say it goes on f tier i don't think no one has used it i see maybe once or twice people use it but it's honestly a very bad gun so i don't really recommend it on any of the killers or in general the next one is the bouncer caster so before i start that i actually moved the penta shot towards b tier because i feel like it is a bit more balanced how it should be. So I, I wanted to make it a bit fair. Uh, so I put it at B tier instead of like A tier or S tier or C tier. So I put it in the middle. So just in case people want to argue with me with that. Uh, so for the bouncer caster, it is required to be level 50 to get it. And last time before the update, I put it at S tier because it took only three shots. Three shots of the con candy balls to hit you. Uh, to turn you into a cotton candy cocoon. So now it takes five. Now, I would think, honestly, it'll take, if you get like three clowns and all use the bouncer caster, maybe that could be OP. But in my honest opinion, uh, since because of the whole 
uh, nerf that they did to it, I'll put it as C tier because it isn't bad, but it isn't good either. So that's why I'm putting it there. So the next one are the melee. So the first one is the mallet. Now the mallet is a free obtainable weapon that you can use and Jumbo will get it as well. So honestly, I believe I had this ranking at C tier, but I'm going to be brutally honest. Now I rarely see people use the mallet and there's a reason why to it, but I'm going to continue on forward with it. There's other melees that people are using now instead of you know the mallet so it is currently not the best one to use right now and it is currently not the meta even though if you don't care about meta builds or not just having fun don't worry no worries i'm here to have fun as well you know i really love the game it should not be competitive at all and uh, even though if you have heard or seen toxicity throughout the games just ignore them guys just that's all you can do and just, the game is all about having fun it's a clown game by the way it's just a clown game so I will put it at D tier because there are other better melee weapons to use. Alright, so the next one is the popcorn gun. So this is still one of my favorites to use on certain builds. Honestly, I will either use the popcorn gun for uh, Spiky or anyone that is well balanced against their stamina or Shorty as well. So this is only obtainable at level 12 and it's the same thing with the Penta shot. And it used to be very OP, like really OP right off the bat. Now, it did a lot of damage and it had long range. So they did do a nerf on it and I had it at S tier before that. But currently right now, it's still good, but it doesn't do a lot of damage anymore. So I would still use it. It's still actually pretty cool uh, and good as well. So I'll put it at A tier, but maybe above the Giga Ray because it's just, you know, you get to find where the humans are. And now, even though if they use a soda or not, if the humans stand still, that's how you know they're hiding. And you can just literally track them on. And if you have teammates that have a mic, you can honestly win the fight like very easily and find them, you know, very easily as well. So I'll put it at A tier. So the next one is the Jawbreaker Maze. Now, this is only obtainable at level 28. And honestly, I believe I had this during a uh, B tier. And is the strongest the melee weapon in the game so far and honestly is part of the meta build as well uh shorty i recommend shorty using it uh you can use it for chubby as well or use the jawbreaker but honestly it's so overpowered that you can basically take out a whole squad i have taken out like three people with it and of course using lol about when i was about to get knocked and it's so it's is literally one of the strongest weapons uh, as of right now. So if you are gonna grind towards that level, I really recommend it. And since I had it at B tier before, I'm keeping it at S tier because it's currently one of the best weapons to use. All right, so the next one is the Gobber Stopper Flail. Now last time I had it at A tier, and honestly, uh, for level 37, I'll keep it that way. So it is currently still a good melee weapon to use especially for chubby himself or chi and shorty as well so it does have a long range towards it because you can see the whatever that thing is the string onto it and then the jawbreaker and it does quite decent amount of damage but it is a slow weapon to use so there you go all right so the last one is the boxing gloves so the boxing gloves requires a level 50 and honestly i had it at b tier and i will still have it at b tier because for the same reason it's honestly still it's very good i recommend it using on jumbo and you can use that for shorty as well but i recommend jumbo because he's more balanced with it and he can handle a fight by himself and defense as well so it is rapidly fast you can use it very fast doesn't do a lot of damage with the gobble stopper or the uh the uh the mace but it still does pretty a good job for what it is so there you go so what do you guys think i honestly really love how it turned out i honestly really love the tier list now obviously if they're gonna nerf any weapons or make it better or worse i'll probably do another one but up to you guys you guys gotta let me know in the comment section but if you guys want to see more kill account spawner space videos like this you guys know what to do hit the subscribe button like button notification bell and i'll see you guys next time peace out